September 30th, 2017, and I'm making today a vlogging day. in a couple days I haven't edited in like so long and I have so much to catch up on so I don't feel bad that I haven't been vlogging nothing's really been going on um actually something did happen we got Melody's costume but don't you be worrying I will be vlogging Halloween I don't know if all of Halloween or when we just go trick-or-treating but that's gonna be happening anyways everyone wants to see this one come here mama let's say hi she say hi, <laughs> hi, and she's learned how to sign more stuff. Can you say please? Please, oh good job, good job. Melody, where's your tummy? Where's your tummy? Yeah. Hiya, can you show me your tummy? Please, can you show me your tummy? Can you show me your nose? Can you show me your nose? Nose, good job! And where's your eyes? She can show me her tummy, she just didn't. Um, her eye, her nose she always gets on, but then she gets stuck on eyes and hair. She's always, she's always pointing towards her nose for her, no, her eyes and hair. I'm cooking some food right now. Um, I'm still teaching her so much stuff, so that's awesome. I'm so happy when I when I told her to say please, and she said please, and I actually wasn't expecting her to sign it. She was just screaming, and I told her, hey, we don't scream, we say please, and then she signed please. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Like, did this just happen? Reason I wanted to vlog today, I was not going to vlog today. Today was going to be a lazy day, you know. I'm just a lazy person in general. I'm making some spaghetti, so I'm working and ranting. Just forget me. Um, I wanted to rant today because I'm not feeling all that great. Yesterday wasn't the best day. It wasn't a bad day, but it wasn't the best day. We went to Disneyland, and my husband and I had planned to go to see Fantasia or Fantasmic, whatever the thing is called. They hadn't had it all year, and they finally bring it out, and I could have seen it one of these days. But my cat wasn't there. It was just me and maybe at the Disneyland. About a month ago or so. And Melody, do not touch. She's trying to touch that and that's not, not acceptable. Anyways, we were supposed to go to see these. We woke up I woke up super early, more early early earlier than when I'm used to. Got some food, made everything ready. We left. We got there semi early for them not to have Fantasia. If we want to get the fast passes, if we got there early, we could get the fast passes. And they didn't have Fantasia that day. They were having like Mickey Mouse Halloween party or whatever. So that was being canceled. Disneyland itself was gonna be closed at seven. So we, I kind of tried to spend the day there, like the morning, went to California Adventure to try and get some fast passes to Guardians of the Galaxy. And, um, yeah, but it was just getting so hot and I just wasn't in a good mood just because my plans didn't pan out. You know when your plan, plans just don't pan out, you, your day's already ruined. So I decided to head and pick up with my mom. And I took a huge nap and it was just, the day wasn't feeling well. I'm not feeling personally well with myself. I feel fairly overweight and it's just one of those days and today, it's been better and I've been, you know, trying to keep my spirits up and then I go on Instagram and I see this picture of my old co-worker. She's hanging out with another one of my old co-workers. We've worked in the same job and, you know, I'm happy that they are hanging out and they became some of my good friends. But it did make me feel sad because I haven't heard from any of them in like, since I've started since I haven't worked there, one since I haven't stopped working there. I've tried communicating to some of them. Some of them I don't want to communicate with just because they're not nice people. And I just don't need that in my life. 
and some of them I have and I haven't heard from any of them. I see that they all hang out and I mean I shouldn't be bugged by it but it does kind of hurt just a little bit that all these people they're liking each other's stuff on Instagram and Facebook. I have them all on Instagram and Facebook but any pictures I post it's no love from them. And that just sucks. I haven't I don't hear from any of them. My one friend that I was supposed to hear from, he even quit and we we, we haven't gotten together like he said we were now. He has a little boy we're gonna hang out and have a play date, but it just hasn't happened and I don't know why it's just bugging me so much. I've always made friends where I went. This one place I worked at, I made really great friends. She was even in my wedding. And I expected that. And I enjoyed this place I worked at. And I enjoyed the products we were doing there. I had some issues with, you know, the job, of course. I really got good at it at the end. And I just wanted to be a mom. And I loved working there, but I, I quit because I, I want to be a full-time mom. But I, I thought that after so much I had gone through with that, like, maybe I would have gotten a friendship out of it. And of course they all have friends. They all become friends. They all get together and do all these amazing things. I don't hear anything from them. I feel like I'm excommunicated. So this is bugging me just a little bit. Um, I try not to like think about it. I still supported them. You know, I'm actually really happy that you know they all get together. They do like people finding friends and stuff. What I don't like is being excluded. Anyways, I uh, had a conversation with my husband while he was at work. He called me during lunch, and he was. I just let him know what had happened. And, you know, I'm just so happy and grateful to have him because he, you know, he always comforts me. He always says, you know what. It's, it, I don't think it has anything to do with you. It's just, you know, you have a life. You have a husband and you have a child and they're single. You know, they just, they get along because they can, because they don't have any responsibilities like that. They just have work and each other. And I mean, it wouldn't hurt to maybe like some of my stuff or, you know, still text. When I text you, like, text me back. Of course, I haven't texted them in a while because after texting them a couple times and not hearing from them, you just don't want to be that person that keeps bothering people who don't want to talk to you. Anyways, I just wanted to rant. I don't really have that many people to talk to you about that. I mean, I have my husband and I thank God for him because he always makes me feel better, but anytime he's my husband, he's always going to be supportive of me and it's just not the same. I mean, I love that he's supportive, but... I want to tell someone else. I think I don't have anyone else to tell. I'm going to tell my camera and YouTube. Why not? Um, that's why I decided to vlog just because I'm not feeling all that great. <sighs> Anyways, today I may have plans with my sister, may not. You know, it just depends on if she can or can't. <sighs> I don't know these women. I mean, I barely know these ladies. Um, they are my siblings, blood siblings from my father's side. Didn't grow up with them, barely met them when I was. 2021 I think so still trying to get them to be a part of my life but too busy schedules you know it's just hard to make time to get to know these women. anywho I'm done ranting gonna make food what did you grab did you break something Goodness, I will have to show you guys what I got. Okay, let me tell you something. The other day we were at Costco. My husband and I were at Costco. We were just getting some gross or groceries, just our basic groceries. And I came across this rug. It was like one of those rugs that have the, the street tracks on it. Um, so the kids can like play with their cars. And I and I came with a couple cars. And I thought to myself, when was the last time we got something from Melody? We needed our toy. My husband was totally for it. It was 40 bucks, and I was like, mm. and it was a pretty big rug, and 
I thought, hey, we need a rug in our room because this little girl keeps spilling milk all over the place. And we just need a rug. And she could, she loves to cars. She just absolutely loves cars. So she will probably love this. It was 40 bucks, so I thought, let's get it. And then I thought to myself, I think I've seen this at Ikea. So I'm just gonna wait. If it's still here and I come back and I get, wanna get it, I'm gonna get it. But I'm gonna check out Ikea first. So I went to Ikea and I found the rug for, it's a smaller rug, like significantly smaller. But I found it for eight bucks. I got it, I just got it. And there's this other things. I'm just gonna have to show you. I'm gonna have to clean my mark room a little bit, make it presentable. But you're gonna see what I got for 40 bucks instead of what I was gonna get for at Costco, which one of them includes this storage thing for some iced tea. I've been drinking my iced tea with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I'm trying to do it on a daily basis. I'm trying to do three, but you rarely ever do three. Maybe two, minimal one. I sometimes don't do. <laughs> Anyways. I got that and all the other stuff you will see in a sec. So this is the rug I got. Super cute, it's pretty small, but it fits here. I also got her this table, which was $10. We wanted to get her a little table to practice her coloring. We also got her this stool. Kinda didn't wanna get her a stool, I wanted to get her a chair, but this was four bucks. If I wanna get a chair, I can invest in a chair later, but for that now, that works she loves that stool she plays around with it sits on it flips it over so probably a good investment and then I got this it's let me just show you you pop it up like this it fold, it's folded up right now it's like a little thingy she can go in let's turn it around come over here Hi. Hi. I am so in love with the stuff we got. This thing, like, is perfect because I've been wanting to get her like a little play thing, like a play set, and kind of with a slide and a swing. But we seriously do not have space. Like, this is all we've got. And there was, like, no way we were going to have space for that. And this folds up. And I just, I store it under our couch, which is just out of the way. And if I want to pop it out, it pop it out. And if I want to take it out to, like, the park or outside, it's, you know, I can take it. I'm, I'm so happy with, like, all the stuff I got. The rug, the table. Yeah. And that was all under 40 bucks. Because the thing I wanted to get was $3.99. $39.99 plus tax but everything with tax came out to like 39 something 57 or something I don't know but it was amazing I'm super happy with my purchases I feel so accomplished I feel like such a great wife being able to buy cheap stuff for my little baby she enjoys it Melody can you say hi peekaboo in there with her but I'm just a little too big to join her in there but I sometimes I'll just like lay down and pop my head in but anyways that was what I have I am so happy with what I've gotten anyways I'm gonna go finish making my spaghetti and have some I actually the other day I just brought my food in with her I sat there because my big butt does fit in there she sat there and I just sat there and we ate together in my little room without any interruptions and stuff watching her TV, big TV I don't have a TV on right now just because you don't want to film and have TV on but just happy I'm happy 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 I'm gonna go finish making these I'm just I'm not in a great mood so if this is just too much for you my apologies but I kind of need to rant and show you <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go finish that Look how cute little Missy is with her table and spaghetti and juice. She's just the cutest little drinker. I <laughs> wish my camera would focus. It feels so blurry. Oh well. Still going to capture these moments until we can 
get a new lens. Is it yummies? Is it yummies? <laughs> Don't throw it on the floor. I'm gonna eat my spaghetti too. What are you doing, Missy? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you so weird? You want to watch watch the TV? Can I get a kiss? You want to say bye? Well, we did not end up hanging out with my sister. Kind of bummed out, but that's okay. We both have different schedules. Oh, well. Anywho, um, we're just chilling. This is a boring life, but, you know, I enjoy it. And, um, we're just going to say goodbye now. But, um, thanks for listening to my rant. If you didn't like it, sorry. But, probably helped. Anywho, uh, if you want to see more of my stuff, you can see me in my next video. See you then. Okay, say see you then.